Hello everybody, it's Joyce from my craft room. Thanks so much for popping in. I'm really excited to be here with you today to show you one of my most favorite new toys. Um, thanks to Kate for hosting us, of course, and um, let's get going. I am here to show you the new, um, new to us, Go Press and Foil Machine. Now this is one of a few different hot foiling machines that are on the market. Now these have been out for a few years. The thing that has changed this year is that a number of great um, stamp companies have started releasing hot foil plates that you use with one of these machines um, that coordinate with their stamps, dyes, stencil sets. Um, Pink Fresh has come out with a lot of them. Altenu is coming out with several. We expect them in the next week or so. Um, I know the Greetery has some out there. I mean, this is um, this is the latest and greatest, guys. So you might want to think about it. Um, the Go Press and Foil is made by Couture Creations out of Australia. I'm going to flip the camera down so I can show you all about it. But before I do that, I want to tell you about our show special which happens to be our uh, Black Friday special that's going to start now, goes through December 3rd. What we're doing is 20% off everything on the site automatically. Now, just as an FYI, the yarn, um, needles, and notions under our knit and crochet category are actually all 35% off. So if you've got any knitters or crocheters on your Christmas shopping list, keep that in mind we've got some gorgeous yarn but as far as paper crafting everything is a minimum of 20 percent including our sale category now that's anything that's already on sale you're going to get an extra 20 percent off you don't have to do a thing you don't have to put in a coupon code none of that however there is a new category on the site called extra 10 anything that shows up in that category is going to qualify for an additional 10%, but you do have to put a code in the coupon box, and that code is EXTRA10, E-X-T-R-A-1-0. So, all right, back to Go Press and Foil. This is the Go Press and Foil machine. It provides the heat for hot foil stamping. You're also going to need a die cutting machine that works with it um, to provide the pressure. When you first turn it on, or when you first plug it in, this flashing light here is going to be a solid red. You just hit the button and it starts flashing red. As you can see, it just turned green. So I am going to take a hot foil plate. Now these are not dies. There is nothing on here that's going to cut. This is the Pink Fresh Studio Bougainvillea print. And we're just going to pop this out of here. We are going to cut a piece of foil large enough to cover it. And I'll try to do this right here so you can see. This little wonder is the um, Spellbinders Quick Trimmer tool. And it has been, it's been a lifesaver for me when it comes to cutting foils. I don't know if you have ever tried cutting them with scissors, but they're a pain. A giant pain. So you're just going to lay that on there. Take the top grid, whoops, and use the little tool that comes with it that's marked foil. I think I may have messed up there a little get this back in the groove all right of course nothing goes smoothly when you're trying to film it 99% of the time works like charm okay I take my foil and I want the foil pretty side facing down I'm gonna raise the lid so there's no extra plates for this you're just going to lift that lid it comes right with it lay your foil on top pretty side down and then a piece of cardstock 
and lay that on top. Now, it's ordinarily easier to tape these together, but in the interest of time. <laughs> okay, come on. We weren't going to bother with that. Just lay it on there. Close the lid. And then you're going to wait for a minute. So I am just using the little stopwatch on my phone to count down one minute. That's all it takes. Because now what's happening is that the uh, GoPress and foil machine is heating up the plate. The machine gets hot and then the plate has to get hot. As soon as the minute's up, we're going to run it through the Big Shot. I use two sheets of cardstock folded in half as my shim. Um, just a note about which machines to consider. If you have a Big Shot or a, a Spellbinders Platinum machine, something like that, this will work great for you. If you have a Gemini uh, die cutting machine, you might want to look at their foil press machine. Um, <clears throat> it really is going to depend on what kind of a uh, die cutter you have. The other thing I happen to really like about this one, and I can do this now, is you're going to pull this platform away from the base. It's nice and smooth. It doesn't pop and jiggle everything around, which I have found on some other machines. So now I'm just going to do a nice slow roll through my Big Shot. And I usually go through it and back. Pull it out, slide it back in to the Go Press and Foil platform, move my shims, and pick up this. Oh, and now I should show you that the machine comes with a roll of gold, a roll of silver foil, these tweezers, which help you get the hot foil off the machine and onto the cooling platform, which I will put up here and show you. This little cooling mat, because these do get pretty warm, so you don't really want to be grabbing them with your bare fingers. Okay, so now we're just going to peel the foil away. And even though I didn't align it right, can you see how pretty that is? So the foil is, is basically kind of letter pressed into uh, the cardstock. You do want to use a relatively smooth cardstock. There are a lot of schools of thought um, about that out there right now. Everybody has an opinion. This is hammer mill. I have no problems with it. I have had issues with some of my coated cardstocks. I won't kid you about that. Um, but something to think about. Uh, FYI, there is also a, a stencil set by Pink Fresh that matches this particular hot foil plate. And when it's all done, it looks like that. Now, again, foil is just tough to see on camera, but this one also features one of the um, sentiments from the Celebrating You Hot Foil Plate and Coordinating Die Set. Some really nice sentiments, and there are several. There's this one, there is one called Perfect Sentiments that has just been in and out of stock forever, and another one called um, Perfect Sentiments Holiday, which I'm also out of at the moment, but hang in there, they'll be back. Okay, so that is how you hot foil. Now, can you do it with a die? Yes, I will show you. I'm going to take this butterfly die because there's something important to keep in mind when you are um, trying to foil your dies. The part that is going to foil is only the raised part of the, um, the die itself. So, Keep that in mind because you don't want 
you don't want to expect that you're going to get a nice solid image. You're not. You're only going to get the raised areas of the die cut. So again, I'm putting my foil down and I did it wrong. <laughs> Pretty side down. Piece of cardstock. A little smaller than that. Here we go. I'm gonna hit the button twice. Make sure it's heating up. Um, so keep that in mind. If you're gonna try to foil your dies, you're only gonna get the raised area, which is the cutting line. Um, so it's gonna be a different look, and I wouldn't want you to be surprised. Okay, the light has turned green, so I am going to restart my little stopwatch here for one minute. While that's heating, I want to mention something else to you. The foils that you use on a hot foil machine, no matter which brand, are not the same as your uh, foils that you use with a heat laminator or a mink machine. This is deco foil. Really hard to see in this light, but it's a much larger tube and it does not come in a box like this. This is the packaging that you will find on most of the hot foils. They're shorter and they're in a box. So far all the manufacturers have been pretty consistent about that. So make sure you don't try to use your deco foil with a hot foiling machine because it's not going to work very well for you. Okay, so we're just about ready here. We're going to pull this out of the machine, put our shims back on top, and again, a nice slow roll through the big shot. right back into the platform nice and easy no jolting around open it up lift this off and we're going to close that so you can see what I'm doing peel away the foil now we have a perfectly nice outline of a butterfly nothing wrong with that but just keep in mind that's what you're going to get when you foil a die you're not you're not going to get a solid image. You're only going to get foiling where the cutting lines are. Nothing has cut. This is still in there just like it was, um, you know, all in one piece. But just something to keep in mind when you're foiling. So now I'm going to lift this guy off of here because he gets warm too. And put him on my cooling mat wherever it went. Now I just want to show you a couple of samples of things that we have done with the machine. Okay, here we go. These again are going to be really hard to see, but this is one I just did the other day. It's gold foil on a white background, and I did it using the Spellbinders Holiday Florals die, um, Holiday Florals hot foil plate and die set, sorry. So it comes with the um, hot foil plates and the dies to cut them out. So that's where the poinsettia and the branches came from. And the background is done with this, this plate called Modern Lines. I love this. You know, this is good for any, any time of the year. Then we have this beautiful snowflake background called Snowflake Sparkle. And this is Peace on Earth. And we have Glimmer Poinsettias. Again, hot foil plates and dies. Um, these are a lot of fun. They are a little more of an investment than a laminator. The regular price on this is $119. You're going to get 20% off and you're going to get free shipping. So keep it in mind, it's a great tool, and like I say, the manufacturers are just coming out with lots of 
great new plates. So have fun today and we'll see you next time.